Hello and welcome to a video on how to use Aqua Data Studio to register a server or connect to a database or data source. To connect to a database or data source, launch server, register server, and that will launch the register server window where you can see the range of databases supported by Aqua Data Studio. That will populate your server connection list and you can have a saved history of different environments that you've connected to. So here you can see a range of different platforms I'm connected to from cloud to NoSQL to traditional RDBMSs. So let's look at a couple of examples on how to connect to a database and an Excel spreadsheet. So under server, register server would launch the register server window. Also the very first icon and here you can see an alphabetical list of the range of databases supported by Aqua Data Studio and there's different versions of some of these platforms as well as you select each platform you can see the, the variations of information that might be needed to connect to that database right? so depending on which database you're, you're talking about you can see the range of different information that would be needed then you have the ability to test this connection save that and that's how you populate your your list of connections and registered servers. So let's look at a MySQL example. Here I can name this, so maybe I'll call this MySQL example. I can group this in different ways from production development to test, so maybe I'll give this a development label. I have the ability to give a color coding for this connection and then provide my connection details for this database or data source. Here I would specify the machine name or the IP address or in this example I'll connect to a local environment. Here I can test that connection, see some detailed information about that connection and then save that and that would populate in my connection tree. For an example to connect to an Excel spreadsheet maybe I'll name this as an Excel grouping and here I'm simply pointing to the directory that holds my Excel spreadsheets. Save that, test that, and that's how I can easily connect to a database or a directory holding my Excel spreadsheets and then easily start working within that database with different areas within Aqua Data Studio. Thank you for watching this video on how to connect using Aqua Data Studio.